Dear student, the experiment which we are going to perform today is regarding the extractions of lipids. So before we start our experiment, I would like to give you a brief introduction regarding this experiment. So if we look at our food, so we come to know that our food is basically divided into three major components. One is carbohydrate, second one is protein and third one is lipids. Carbohydrate is a quick source of energy and the metabolism of carbohydrate is quite fast. And in almost every food, there is a major component carbohydrate is present. As far as the protein is concerned, the major source of protein is meat. Most of the time we get protein from meat. And the third major component of our food is lipid. As far as the metabolism of lipids are concerned, they are very slow. Before I start our experiment, let me introduce with the apparatus and chemical which we will use in this experiment. For this experiment, we need cashew nuts, a beaker, petri plates, spoon, a glass measuring cylinder, flask, Methanol, Chloroform, Saturated NaCl solution, Pestle and mortar, A glass pipette, Filter paper, Glass keef, tripod stand, so let's begin with the experiment. In the very first step of this experiment, we will take cashew nuts and with the help of pestle motor, we will grind them well. Keep in mind that the cashew nuts should be grinded very well. Once they are grinded, then we will transfer the powder form of these nuts into 250 ml flasks. Now the nuts has been grinded quite well. Now we will transfer these nuts into the flask. Now we will add with the help of glass piper 20 ml of methanol in this flask and 10 ml of chloroform. Here we will take 20 ml of methanol. Now we will add 10 ml of chloroform in the same flask.
Now after adding chloroform and methanol, we will shake the flask for at least 30 seconds so that the mixture become completely homogenized. After shaking it well for 30 seconds, we will place this flask for 30 minutes for the proper mixing and breakdown of nuts. Now we'll wait for 30 minutes for the proper homogenization of solution. As the 30 minutes time has been over, now we'll add 5 ml of NaCl solution and again 10 ml of methanol into the flask. Here we are taking 5 ml of NaCl solution. Now in the same flask, we will add 10 ml of methanol. Again, we will shake the whole material for at least 30 seconds and again put it for 30 minutes for the proper homogenization and breakdown of the cashew nuts. So students, as we have added NaCl and methanol once again, again we will shake the flask for 30 seconds and incubate it on room temperature for 30 minutes. After shaking it well, now we'll put this flask for 30 minute room temperature incubation. So students, now we will filter this whole solution with the help of a filter paper. We have settled the assembly already. We will put a beaker under the keef so that we can collect the filtrate. Now very gently, we will add the whole solution in this filter paper. Now we will wait for the completion of filtration process. So student, as the filtration process has been completed, now we will shift our filtrate into 100 ml glass mirroring cylinder. Now we will simply put the cylinder for at least one hour and we'll wait for the formation of two different layers. So after an hour, you can see the formation of two different layers. We will collect the upper layer of the solution and will pour into different petri plates with the help of glass pipette. Half of the solvent we will pour in petri plate 1. Avoid mixing of these layers while pipetting out the upper layer from the cylinder. After pouring, the upper layer into different petri plates. Now we will incubate these petri plates 
at 40 degrees centigrade for one hour in incubator. Now we'll incubate our petri plates at 40 degrees centigrade for one hour. Now the incubation time has been over, so now we will take our petri plates out of the incubator and will observe the results. out the lid of the petri plate so here student you can see a transparent gel like material which is our extracted lipids so students this is how you can extract lipids from a food source thank you